my name is Alona. Welcome to my channel. This is my first English video. I'm Ukrainian, so don't judge strictly. Yesterday I passed my FA part 107 exam with 85. I'm so happy. I didn't buy any course. I've been studying for my own for like two months. I was not in a hurry. I had a lot of time to prepare well. You guys will probably need less time. Well, now I will tell you my story. I'm a traveler. I've been traveling a lot and I've been making travel vlogs in Russian language. You can check out my vlogs and see those beautiful places I've been to. I've been making shooting on my DJI Mavic Air 2 in every country I've been to. Six months ago, I moved to the USA and I found out I can't fly my drone here in States without drone license. I mean, I can fly, but recreationally. In fact, I can't put my uh, drone videos on YouTube channel. So I decided to pass FA part 107 exam. I didn't know what I would have to face. I thought there would be a simple questions like where you can fly, where you can't, but when I opened sample test, I was shocked. I didn't know answer for any questions there. And I never have thought I would pass that exam. One thing that bothered me is that uh, this exam was difficult for those who had English um, as native language. What then you can say about me? I've been studying English uh, for about like five years or so. I, I thought that exam will be 10 times difficult for me. I can communicate in English, but I didn't study physics and geography in English. But I had a clear desire to make cool videos from America and I set myself a goal and began to figure out. So what was my first step? I printed this. I took this guide, a Ton Northrop video. I will post the link down below. So first of all, I started to translate everything I didn't know before. It took me for about two weeks or something. I studied one, two hours per day approximately. Also, I downloaded um, a remote pilot unmanned aircraft study guide. It took me some time to read to read everything. And the second video I watched was um, Katya's bus TV video. I will post the link down below too. Her video gave me a lot of information. She broke everything down clearly. Then I watched all videos at the drone coach. And I watched uh, the video about new, new rules about remote ID at Pilot Institute channel. This all gave me a clear understanding what FAA wants me to know. In parallel to this, I was passing sample tests. I will leave links to those tests in description. When I started to feel confident, I scheduled exam. As a US citizen, you need either a passport or identification card. As a foreigner, you need passport and identification card issued by any government entity. I took my Ukrainian passport and foreigner passport. Well, I arrived to exam location in Minnesota. They provided me with a chart supplement and pencil. The test was on computer and they provided me with a calculator, but I didn't need it. It took me 45 minutes to give answers and about 40 minutes to check everything out twice. And I passed. Questions were difficult, different from those I had at home. The questions were worded in a tricky manner. Make sure you know synonyms to key words if you're a foreigner. For example, decreased performance, degraded performance. There were about 15 questions about sectional chart, which were my favorite. I learned it well. And I had only one question about latitude and longitude. I had two questions about meter. Meter, you should describe what weather it is. So, what weather is described here? 
There were such questions as what airspace overlines certain airport, how high can you fly over certain tower, can you fly over a certain tower if clouds are 600 feet AGL. The tricky question was so what airspace overlines Edison Airport. You should know different types of notums. They asked, what is VDC notum for? What is the most accurate determination of stable air? I answered poor visibility, which is correct. Some questions were about frequency within chart supplement. You should know what frequency is for Aries and for control traffic. Something was about if you are flying between skyscrapers and you can't control your drone, what caused it? Frequency interference, dome link, or something else, I don't remember, I'm sorry. Question was about backlights at control stations. Should they blink or should they be on full power or should they be muted? Well, that's all I could remember. I hope my video was clear for you. Don't worry about the test. Prepare well and you will pass, because I passed and you will too. Please write in comments whether you understand me or my accent is bad. I appreciate all comments and likes. See you guys. Bye-bye.